All right, so I guess first tell me, what did you guys learn after, after that game against Kansas, and um, what have you guys been working on the most here in practice this week? Um, just that kind of little, little little mistakes add up to big mistakes and losses in the end. So I think everyone's just trying to correct those little things that we're doing wrong and just you know make the commitment to get stops on defense and get scores on offense. The outcome of that game kind of comes as surprising as though you guys ripped off two wins in a row. I mean, we're feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, um, I expect us to go in there to win, and um, that wasn't the outcome that we got. And it was very disappointing, and we just hope that we can refocus because we need to get these wins. The second half of Kansas State was was really good. You, you came out after halftime, played that way. And mm-hmm. Going into Kansas, you have the lead, and the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. The second half was obviously a downer. What, looking back at that second half, now, what were the, the keys to that whole thing? Um, I just think that we weren't concentrating. You know, instead of building on our lead, we kind of just got complacent and just um, let them score and not, not get stops and not get key rebounds that we needed to get. So um, I definitely think that we need to correct that in this next game. First meeting against Texas Tech, uh, what were some of the biggest deficiencies that you guys have seen on tape? Um, honestly, it was we weren't stopping dribble, dribble penetration very well. So I think that's something we are definitely working on. and. Um, we really just weren't scoring. It was a very low-scoring game, and so we need to make sure we can put the ball in the hoop. Seems like uh, it's safe to say Amber Battle's been a pretty tough test for everybody so far. I mean, mm-hmm. what's what's the you know what, what do you guys have to do to try to stop her? Um, you know, our defense is to not let her catch the ball. Coach Caro says she can't <laughs> score; she doesn't have the ball. So um, I think that's what we try and do. We try and stay up the lane and make and kind of frustrate her, so it's not as easy for her to get her points. It's obviously not where you want to be in the Big 12 at this time. And everyone says there's still 11 games. I know you can't just keep saying there's this many days, mm-hmm. this many days. Yeah. You, you have to start putting wins together. Right? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, you know, we you know we still have we still have those 11 games, but we need to start winning these games, or those games are going to slip away. So I think it's important that we start capitalizing on the games that we have left. Right. First meeting against Texas Tech was it just not not attacking the zone? very well. Yeah, they sagged off a lot and, you know, we've seen zone and we know that we're going to get zone, but um, I think it was so much packed in the paint that we didn't really know what to do with it, so um, we've worked on it, obviously, in practice, so hopefully we can score against it better. How did, how did Linda see playing with the mask for the first time? Um, well, she's been a little sick, too, so I think it was hard for her, but I think she did really well, and she's still still aggressive and isn't scared of, of going up against people, so I think she'll be even better this next game. Seems like Bree and Jessica obviously have uh, offered a pretty good offensive punch for you guys the last few wins, but against Kansas it wasn't so much there. I guess how much are they needed to really give a boost to this offense? Um, they definitely they are, they're both scores. They're great scores. I think um, as long as they keep up with their defense, they'll get to stay in the game and, and get some more uh, points in the basket for us. Obviously, Lene with the foul trouble, she was only limited to 13 minutes. You've mm-hmm. got to find a way to keep her on the floor. Right? Yeah, we definitely like to keep our bigs and everyone really out of foul trouble. We can't really afford to have people have little fouls and stuff like that. So um, hopefully she can stay in the game longer. And um, last thing for me, uh, you know, when, when Bria, I mean, Bria went six for 21, I believe. Is this team better when, when she's not asked to score, you know, over 20 points a game and when it's more spread out? Yeah, I think it's better when we have balanced scoring and um, that we're all just contributing so it's not, uh, you know, pressure all on one person. So I think if we're all doing our part, you know, getting our rebounds and, and putting the ball in, then we're a better team.